Three, two, one, go. So symmetry here is very important. I use it all the time. You see when I tap it, you see the symmetry line. Sometimes that's easier to, for you to understand uh, what is going to be symmetrical in your mesh. So when you have symmetry on, uh, this is the same icon here. This is the symmetry menu. So right now it's enabled and we have this X plane. So the X plane is red and you see the X line there. So you can scroll down and just hit show line. And that seems to help me out a lot when I'm doing symmetry. Uh, so right now the symmetry for this sphere is going to be this side and this side. So whatever I do over here is going to be symmetrical to this side. So if I have, if I take the move tool and I pull this out, then that part is going to move as well. So let's say we do, might do some sort of weird character or something like that. So essentially anything I do to one side is going to happen on the other side. So if I was shaping this head, you know, I could pull out the head, I could turn it to the side and pull it out, knowing that it's still going to be even. You know, if I want to make it a little bit bigger, everything is going to be even. So this is great for making like head shapes and anything that is going to be symmetrical. And remember, you can hit front so you, you know that you're directly in the front. So also with, with uh, symmetry, let's add another uh, sphere and hide this one for now. We'll go ahead and validate it. So symmetry is on, but let's change the, let's change the, the symmetrical axis that we're going to work on. So instead of the red, let's see if we do green. So now you see the green line because we have a uh, show line on. So now you can see instead of left to right, if I hit front, instead of left to right, it's going to happen on the bottom. So everything is just going to be mirrored on the bottom. So that's the green, that's the Y. And now you can see if you have both of them on, then it's going to do all of both of them at the same time. I can turn them both off and turn off blue. Uh, and blue, as you see, if I do it over here, it doesn't really show unless you turn it. And now you can see that it's actually doing it on the other side. So that's all symmetry is. Let's go to the front. Okay, let's go back to the default is usually X, so I'm just going to go back there. So let's bring back our other little shape here. Let's hide this and bring this one back. So mirroring, essentially mirroring will use the whole project. Like let's say there's a line drawn down the middle of our screen. Then if we go here and we add a, radio, a, a mirror repeater, so if we go to add and go to mirror or anything you want to mirror, it just adds it into this mirror repeater. A repeater is anything, let's see, where is it, where are they at? If you go to add any of these red ones, these are all repeaters. So all they do is they put, they move a shape into the repeater and it just repeats uh, in whatever it says. Um, so a, a mirror, let's see. So if I use the gizmo and I tap on the sphere, you don't wanna be, you don't wanna tap on the mirror, you wanna tap on the sphere and I'm using the gizmo, I can move it to this side and it's mirrored. See that line down the middle? So the symmetry is going down the whole center of the screen because you know we're still in the X. So the symmetries, you can see, it's like in the middle of the screen. But let's say we wanted to just work on this and have everything match this. So we can click on that. We can go back to symmetry so instead of being right here where you see the dots, if you hit local, and then it's just going to stay, the symmetry is going to stay local to this shape. So now we can adjust it. It's still going to match the other side because we're still in that mirror. So, uh, so I mean, I, it's kind of confusing, but hopefully that helps a little bit. Uh, the big takeaway is just make sure that you have show line on, and then you can kind of see where your symmetry line is so you can see what you're doing you can always take your sphere out of the mirror like if it, if something happens and you're like oh I, I want this to be back into the center 
you can go to the gizmo and go to the gizmo options and it's one of these is it move origin yeah you can hit move origin and that will move it back to the center so if you get lost you can just delete the mirror and then say okay uh, i want to make uh, i want this to be in a mirror again now you can just hit mirror you can go to sphere and then you can move it you can move it back so everything is mirrored also let's say we take it out of this mirror and delete this so you can actually take this sphere I don't think it's in the center is it but you can go to symmetry and then you can mirror it left to right so let's say we mirror left to right and it does nothing and I think it did nothing because I'm on local let me see if I move it to world left to right then it mirrors it So yeah, even I get confused sometimes with it. I'm just gonna delete everything. I feel like this is the most confusing video ever, but hopefully, hopefully you follow some of it. So uh, let me try to like, just sum it up really quick. It's probably a really confusing video, but so symmetry, local symmetry is just gonna deal with, you know, our shape, and then it's going to deal with either X, Y, or Z, or all of them, or any combination. Uh, so that's all symmetry is. So once symmetry is on, we use drag. If it's red, it's going to go that way. If it's green, it's going to go that way. Oh, I have both on. And this one is going to be to the side. So just remember, turn the line on, and you'll be able to see what symmetry you're working with. Let me turn the blue off. Okay, so, and the next thing is, let's say you, let's say you make a nice hand. You have a nice hand, it's on the arm down here. You've done all this cool stuff with the hand. It looks great. Then you want the other hand. So in that situation, all I would do is you can take this shape, go to your symmetry, go to world, and then mirror left to right. And see, see where this line is? That's because that's the center of the project. Just hit yes, and it will mirror on that side. And let's say you wanted to take both of these now and mirror them below. You could go here, we're already in world. You can change this to the green and you can actually see where the line is. So that's where that line is. So I think if I was doing this, I would have to move it up but then I could go to symmetry and go to, uh, let's see, I don't know. I think it might be left to right. Let's see what happens if we do left to right. Yeah, there we go. It just, so even though it's not actually left to right, it still will mirror according to, you know, the, the project. And also if you, let's delete this. So if you were doing a hand, and if you mirrored it, it's going to be, if you mirrored it, like if you were doing one hand and you mirror it, it's going to be the other hand. So you don't have to worry about that. But if you're doing like, sometimes I do teeth. So if I was doing teeth, I would, I would take this sphere, let's see, validate it. This is my tooth. I would just add a mirror like that. Then I would go to the tooth and I would move it. And then I have. So then I have my, my teeth there, so I can do whatever I want with them. And sometimes I'll just clone and make more teeth like this and so on and so forth. And I'll do that for the teeth. And what happens is sometimes I want to now like just switch these. So I might just take all of these, uh, clone them. And then if I, if I like these teeth, I might join them together so they're all together. And I'll take this one, go to symmetry, go to the green, and then go to world, and then left to right, and it's gonna flip them. So now it'll like make the bottom teeth too. 
but somehow for some reason it made two different ones so i probably should have went oh you know why that was dumb of me when i use the mirror it actually like doubles it so if i was doing this i would actually just have to go to flip object and then it would just flip the one object i might have to do a better video than this it's like it's so it's so confusing to like talk about like i even confuse myself talking about it but uh, but i don't know if i can think of a better way to explain it hopefully that helps at least a little bit i'm gonna try to do some more videos on you know symmetry and all, all those things and it might be just easiest to use it in like real life cases and situations because that's what i mostly use it with um but again uh, symmetry can be very confusing but when you turn the line on and you start to recognize like what to look for that will really help you know what to do like when you're trying to do something like if you want to you know mirror the arms or the legs or something so yeah i think that's about it i will try to go over this a little bit more let me know what was confusing let me know if there's uh, something in there that was helpful let me know if there's something something in there that was confusing or i should go over more because it's just it's not very simple like it just it gets kind of complicated and there's so many things that build off of other things you know what i mean and there's so many combinations of things and there's layers and it can get really confusing but hopefully if i do a few more of these videos uh, the next one i'll try to do like a real life scenario I'll make something and then I'll try to use a lot of those. That might help a little bit more, but let me know. Um, I'm also making a new Skillshare class. And where's my little character at? So this is a little character that I'm making in my Skillshare class. Um, that's coming up soon. Hopefully it'll be done in like the next few days. And um, hopefully you'll join me on Skillshare. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.